Hi boys and girls, auntie and uncle, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is CK and my channel is Psychology, where I bring you around the world to eat, see and explore. Today, I'm right in front of this beautiful red bridge called Lo Harus Bridge. It spanned across Serangoon River, connects both sides of the wetland. The Serangoon River is also where the Pungul Waterway flows into. Pungul Waterway, the longest man-made waterway here in Singapore. Now where is Pungol? Well, Pungol is situated in the northeastern part of Singapore and it is one of the newest districts in Singapore. New it is, but a lot of people do not know that Pungol is actually one of the oldest settlements in Singapore. Existed long before Stanford Raffles discovered Singapore. Pungol has three parks. It is one of the greenest district in Singapore. Famed for its greenery, and as you see, natural beauty. Pungol has become very popular with dog lovers, cyclists, and small families to settle here. Now, in this video, I am going deep into the district of Pungol, showing you the interesting food to eat here in Pungol, in one of the newest district, premium waterway front living now in Singapore. Let's head out to breakfast. So first stop is breakfast, and breakfast, all Pungolian. <laughs> Pungolian, is that a word? So all the locals prefer to come here, and this is like really a one-stop breakfast for all the local people here. This is Huang Hong Ji, and it is famous for their porridge, their signature porridge, but they serve all sorts of Singaporean breakfast, which I really, really like. My friend recommended me here. They have the fried mihun, they have the yu sang, they have chi chong fan, and of course the yam cake, which I want to try. To order is the signature porridge with the fried pig, fried, fried pork, fried pork in, intestine. And it seems to be very, very packed. They've been here six years plus, the Tauke told me. This is it. This is very, very authentic Mongolian breakfast. This is really good. It's not on the menu, I don't know why. So you have to tell the boss you want the signature porridge with the uh, inside the porridge. It's not in the menu, I don't know why. Mm. So, yeah, okay. this is very Singaporean breakfast. Very Mongolian breakfast here at Fang Hong Chi. So now brunch, a very important meal for me. Now I'm at Whisk and Paddle. Whisk and Paddle is probably the one of the rarest restaurant cafe I know because this restaurant or cafe is situated right beside Serangoon River, a natural river, which is actually very rare here in Singapore. And I must say this cafe restaurant is very, very spacious unlike all the other cafes or brunch places in Singapore that I know. And Whisk and Paddle is really the premium brunch lunch place. I've heard of this name for a very, very long time. I'm finally here. Very family friendly, amazing porch, looking out at the river. Completely green view as you can see when you're eating your brunch. They have a large area for kids to play on the porch, which is fantastic. Now, my meal is Ta-da! The Benedict egg with waffle with bacon. My god, this brunch is gonna be glorious. But there you go, whisk and paddle. I really like the sitting area. Again, very, very spacious arrangement on the table and the seating. Interesting lighting. The best brunch places here in Pungol. I'm gonna divulge this and then we go for lunch.
So here I am at Wan Punggol. Wan Punggol, I think, is a huge community building complex center. And here they have the service center for the elderly, service center for childcare. And upstairs here at Wang Punggol is this massive hawker center, which is newly opened and has been so, so popular with all Singaporeans. This is one of the latest hawker center to open. They've opened in November 2022 and lots and lots of great food here. I am starting with Coco Nasi Lama. Oh my god, look at this. I think this is the most beautifully presented with Nasi Kanda of Penang. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. Seriously, the kwa can be a bit more spicier, but all the ingredient spices are there to make a great nasi lemak. Mmm. I took the fish. Okay. Not bad. Not too bad. It can be a bit more spicy, but good job, I would say. Oh, the rice is really nice. Mmm. It's my first time here at Wan Punggol, and this is my first try on the dish. I saw, I actually saw a YouTuber filming it just now. So I, I thought, oh, well, I give it a try. Mm, I recommend this. This is from Coco here at Wan Pungo. I am ready now for my dessert. And for my dessert, everyone suggested the 75 Baling Su. This is the soup ball, glutinous ball that is for best for dessert and I'm having it at 75 baling soup. 75 has a very lucky number for this stall because this is the year they moved to the Golden Mile Hawker Center, 75, and then when they moved there, their stall number was 75, so the owner kept the kept the number 75 which is supposed to have bring them lots of luck and the glutinous ball comes with a lot of different type of feelings they have the red bean they have yeah and for the soup i picked the almond milk soup mmm ah the almond milk looks very refreshing let me try now one of their glutinous ball Mmm, this one is matcha. It really has the... Mmm, it's rolling in my mouth. It really has the, the very smooth effect. Look at that. Mmm, mmm. So this is peanut. And I must say, very creative feelings they have. And lots of different soup they can choose from. I think there's a ginger soup and a peanut soup also. Mmm. Mmm. Super delicious. Um, six for 3.30. And you can mix all the different flavor. Highly recommend. Mmm. So last stop at uh, my quest here for great food in Bungo is here at Uncle Leong and here at Uncle Leong Seafood Restaurant. Now this restaurant has been here forever. Ever since there's Bungo, there's Uncle Leong Seafood Restaurant. 
and they are famous of course for their crab I mean I love the the wall of crab the decoration of crabs everywhere in this restaurant that tells you you have to order their crab they've got some really cute aquarium as well but definitely it is the crab and it is the chili crab that you need to order look at that so I've ordered the chili crab and this is prawn this is mango prawn I have never tasted a mango prawn before and this is I think snapper snapper uh, steam Hong Kong steam style fish sauce is uh, the must here Mmm, my god, I think, I think the spice, the sauce, super super thick, now I'm off to the prawn, oh look at that, mmm, 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 oh, you definitely taste the you definitely taste like the whole mango wrap in the prawn that's the first for sure now next up is the fish oh look at that there we go okay now the fish mmm 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 super fresh so that's it that's my finale and before I finish this I'll tell you that I mean what can I say about Fungo I think it's one of the best places to live in Singapore actually surrounded by three huge parks freshest air in Singapore I mean rental prices here are really affordable it's the best buck for your money staying here in Fungo and incredible food so that's that is my video for Fungo. I hope you enjoyed this video and you, and you can support this channel. By, go to buymeacoffee.com. Co buy if you want more video of Singapore, you can click it right here. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye from the suburb of Fungo. Bye!